What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am bringing you my WWE Christmas 2020 haul. Everything I've got that is WWE related this year for Christmas, I will be showing you in this video. However, before we get into that, I just want to say a massive Merry Christmas to all of you. I want to say a big thank you to all 1,600 of you that subscribed to the channel this year. Thank you very much. Last year on Christmas, we hit 2,000 subscribers and today I'm at 3,600, which is awesome. So, Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I wish you all a merry, merry Christmas to every single person that celebrates. Without further ado, let's get right into the Christmas haul. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now the first item I'm going to be talking about isn't actually WWE related. I just want to mention it because it is really cool. It's going to be part of the backdrop from now on. Have you guys seen this Joe Talks Wrestling light box? How awesome is this? It lights up. Watch this. Look, literally, at the press of a button, we can go from this to this, ah, oh, which is cool. Uh, but I think it, it goes out of focus a bit uh, when I light it up on camera. So I'm actually gonna turn it off for the videos, but that is very cool. Now, WWE items. I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven WWE related items this year for Christmas. We're gonna start off with the most boring one, I guess you can say. It's what everyone uh, has when they get older. You know, most people have them. And as you get older, guys, I'm 18. This is my first Christmas as an official adult, which is really weird. Um, your presents do get, you know, less and less as you get older and they become like more mature things. So a lot of you guys are probably receiving lots of wrestling figures. Um, well, I haven't because I'm preferring to get more like advanced wrestling memorabilia these days. But without further ado, this is something that I'm pretty sure a lot of you kids out there, a lot of you have probably got this as well. It has to be the 2021 WWE official calendar. It has John Cena, Drew McIntyre, Roman Reigns on the front. On the back, ladies and gentlemen, it has all of the wrestlers for all of the dates. We have got Randy Orton in January, The Fiend in February, Drew McIntyre in March, AJ Styles in April, Mustafa Ali in May, Braun Strowman in June, John Cena in July, Daniel Bryan in August, Street Profits in September, The New Day in October, Seth Rollins in November, and The Big Dog, The Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns in December. This is cool. I get one of these every year. I have one up right now. It's currently at December and it has Kofi Kingston on. But yeah, WWE calendar, official calendar 2021 is the first item on the list. Let's move on to the next. Okay, guys. So next up, we have two WWE Books, two WWE biographies or autobiographies. I get really confused uh, which one's which. I think it's autobiographies about yourself, biographies about uh, someone's wrote it about you. Oh, I'm really not sure. Uh, my English teacher's probably looking at this video if they are watching it and thinking, come on, Joe. Uh, but guys, either way, uh, <laughs> first off, we have this Shawn Michaels Wrestling For My Life book. This is really thin uh, for a WWE book, to be honest. And it says, the legend, the reality, and the faith of a WWE superstar. Four words by full Triple H, Lever Squire, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. This is a Shawn Michaels book with David Thomas. So I believe Shawn has wrote part of it by himself and whoever David Thomas Thomas is, uh, has wrote part of it for Shawn Michaels. This is a really cool book. Uh, if you're uh, not into wrestling books, or if you're not into reading and you're a wrestling fan is what I mean to say, definitely start looking at wrestling books. I got my first wrestling book. Uh, my form tutor at school uh, got it for me as a Christmas present one year. It was a Daniel Bryan, yes, uh, My Journey to WrestleMania book. It hooked me and that was when I was I think 14 so and ever since then I've been reading wrestler books I'm currently halfway through Edge is biography uh, and I've also read Rey Mysterio's and Chris Jericho's third book definitely recommend it this Shawn Michaels book right here is definitely one I'm going to be giving a read so leading straight on from that I'm not going to do a jump cut because I have my second book that I've received this is actually the international bestseller the best wrestling book there will ever be it is the Brett Hitman Heart WWE book. Now this is awesome. And uh, it's probably a bit less PG than the Shawn Michaels one. I'm not gonna show you the back because it has some words that uh, will get me demonetized. <laughs> but uh, here we go. Brett the Hitman Heart, the official book. Uh, this is thick. This is a big boy. Gonna take me a while to get through this one. But yeah, I can't wait to finally read through this. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to it. So there we go. Two WWE 
wrestler books right there to kick things off. Let's move on to the next present. Okay guys, now this one is going to be actually a bit of an unboxing here, or should I say unbagging. Right here we have in an extra large size the Roman Reigns brand new 2020 official show up and win t-shirt. Roman Reigns wore this t-shirt uh, after his return at SummerSlam. He is the tribal chief these days. Uh, this is my first ever Roman Reigns t-shirt, believe it or not. Not including my, my Shield t-shirt. This is my first ever standalone Roman Reigns t-shirts. So now I have a t-shirt for Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose, all three members of the Shield, as well as their Shield t-shirts. Uh, here it is. It is really cool. I'm sure you guys recognize the design. The extra large t-shirts are a bit big on me, so what I tend to do is just put them in the tumble dryer to shrink them down a bit. The larger a bit too small, extra large a bit too big. I'm in between sizes for WWE shop. It's really annoying, but yeah, I'm not actually going to put it on in this video because I'm obviously wearing all my Christmas gear instead, but yeah, Roman Reigns show up and win t-shirt. That's the front, and here it is on the back. This is very, very cool. Very, very happy with this present indeed. Uh, I've been wanting a Roman Reigns merch for a while since I started becoming a fan of his early last year. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is my WWE t-shirt. Uh, we have three presents left and let's get into the next two presents. Okay, guys. So these two are very personal to me. These two are not WWE merchandise uh, at all. These are two things that were homemade for me. Uh, and if you guys don't know, here in England, I'm going to deep it for a bit. Um, where I am in London in the southeast, we are in tier four for, uh, you know, the, the big, we're not, we're not allowed to say the word, you know, the, the, the C word. Um, not the swear, you know, the, C, the C-O-V word. We are in tier four, meaning this Christmas we cannot see anyone other than immediate family that we live with, which is very unfortunate, but it's keeping people safe, meaning we have to do it. We have to follow the rules. Uh, I'm not too affected by it because my family's small anyway. I do, my heart does go out to all of them big families with, you know, uh, uncles, aunts, cousins, grandparents that you guys can't see. And uh, one person that I wanted to see this Christmas that I can't is actually my girlfriend. And she obviously she lives quite a way away a few hours away and uh we're in different tiers so i can't see her um but she has got me this awesome gift alongside one of my really good friends uh both my girlfriend and one of my really good friends have worked together to get me this amazing gift that i love uh, now, if you guys have been on the channel for a little bit, you will know that I have uh, these WWE custom-made Thunderdome plaques. And um, what these are is basically to commemorate my time in the Thunderdome. Uh, they've got these black frames, which are really cool. Uh, they came from the range, if anyone's interested. And uh, what I thought was really cool is at midnight last night, I FaceTimed my girlfriend and my good friend. And what they have actually got me is this really, really cool Joe Talks Wrestling, um, like commemorative plaque i guess you can say this is one of them there's two and what it is guys is it has my channel art my banner in the middle and then uh, sorry about the glare of the monitor uh then although you guys can't see because the camera won't pick it up we have pretty much every single thumbnail uh of the last two years uh this goes from about a month ago my zelina vega released video is the most recent on here and it goes all the way back to my john cena returns wrestlemania 35 reaction video and that is every single thumbnail here in between now this is what my girlfriend got me now my really good friend he got me this which is exactly the same however this goes from uh, my it goes all the way up to my video where I respond to JD Bailey uh, from our feud a long time ago and it starts with my first ever video so I have these two awesome Joe Talks Wrestling commemorative plaques thank you so much to my girlfriend and my great friend I'm not going to mention your names because you know I'd, I'd, I'd rather not have people dive into my personal life and try and find you guys on social media um, however Thank you very much. This is the coolest gift I have ever received from anyone. I love it to pieces and I can't wait to get them up on the wall. But without further ado, guys, let's move on to the main event, the final present this Christmas. Let's do it. Okay, everyone, my final present, the main event, the big present that I got this year, Christmas 2020, is this right here, WWE. Spinner Championship Replica 
belt. This is absolutely awesome. I love it to pieces. Now, guys, don't fret. I have indeed made an unboxing video that will be going up shortly. I made this video, I made that unboxing video before this video, uh, but here we go. WWE Championship Spinner. I just want to apologize quickly if you can hear the pipes in the background. Uh, obviously, Christmas Day being a busy day, I've got family members in the shower, I've got uh, family downstairs. So normally I'm not, you know, there's more going on in the background than normal, so just ignore that noise. Um, but WWE Championship Spinner belt, ladies and gentlemen. I have been wanting this belt since I became a wrestling fan in 2010, and it is really, really sentimental to me. And this WWE Championship, specifically this year, means something different. Because guys, 10 years ago, Christmas 2010, when I was just eight years old, I got the WWE Mattel Spinner Championship. Now, luckily for you guys, I'm gonna feature this in the, uh, the unboxing video as well, but I actually have footage of that. So without further ado, let's rewind the clock 10 years and look at young eight-year-old Joe getting the Spinner Championship. There's no audio, but there is video. So guys, take a look. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. So 10 years ago, I got the toy. 10 years later, I get the replica. In 10 years time, you know, maybe if things go right, I could maybe win the real thing. But no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but there you go, ladies and gentlemen. This was my WWE Christmas 2020 haul. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. I've been Joe from Joe Dots Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Please be sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.